Looky there. I made a part in Pro E. I'm calling Sprocket. I made it big and I ran it. I generated an STL file from that, a three dimensional stereolithography file. It's a, it's a two centimeter tall thing. Uh, and I ran that STL file through the slicer program for a generic uh, 3D printer CNC code printer uh, that had extruder uh, values had the extruder axis specified in it and I import it into my program, my G code to super select program, where it, come on, focus, where the G code came in there, and then I split it into arrays and put it in there, and then I made some check boxes where I generate path commands from, uh, let's see if we can, from these, uh, where's my mouse, these G4 commands uh, created a big point file, there's, there's a bunch of points. Uh, those A4s for four axis points got writ get written to the controller and then and get replaced with path commands, the PAs, showing that a path is being done right now from well there's from position 26 to 750 and so on uh, anyway my little program takes the G code generated by the slicer program turns it into uh, commands that I sent to the controller that thing which is an ancient dinosaur thing and only understands its own little language but I made a con that program converts with some massaging uh, into uh, commands that run this four axis CNC machine. There's three of them and down there you can see my extruder my extruder, uh, I don't know what you call it, master it's not the extruder, it's the thing that will drive the extruder. Okay, what's going on now? Now it is, okay, it is sending new points to the position table in the controller. Uh, we see that the extruder on the far right is at 318, 319, 320. That out of a I think the extruder goes to 400 and something before it get, reaches the end. So it's a good indicator of how far along we are. Also, we see uh, uh, that we're at the oh, 74 on the z-axis. Oh, and by the way, here I have marked off with a ruler today. That probably is 74, 7.4 millimeters, 7.4 centimeters, 74 millimeters. Ooh, ooh. It's, it's moving. And uh, so the slicer program generates a honeycomb pattern on the inside that will eventually support 
the top of the sprocket layers. And it's not quite there yet. It's probably got another layer of honeycombing, honeycomb layers to do. But anyway, success so far. Just need to replace my red ink pen with a extruding clay or something coming out the end being driven by that actuator down there or slaved to it anyway uh, and and I'm good to go and so there I'm starting to think about how to make a framework for the extruder thingy Okay, so far so good, signing out.